What's happening guys, back at you with another video. So we had the recent release of A Quiet Place, day one, now in theaters. I checked it out, so let's go ahead and talk about it. But before we get into this review, if you happen to like movie reviews, ranking videos, movie news updates, definitely subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so you know I post another video. So when it comes to the Quiet Place franchise, I really enjoyed the other two movies and, and I was definitely looking forward to this one. This one was definitely one of my most anticipated movies of the year and I was definitely excited for it. One of the things that drew me to this movie and got me very interested and intrigued in this movie was a whole new setting. Now, you know how the previous two movies took place in like, you know, a small town, country, urban sort of setting going on, but this one was gonna be taking place in New York City. One of the loudest cities that we know of so that whole setting of new york city was really one of the main reasons that drew me and got me interested and intrigued into this movie and it even makes a kind of note to you know basically say that new york city is one of the loudest cities as it opens up with the beginning of the movie where it's panning over new york city and it's basically saying how you know new york city is one of the loudest cities and it remains at a constant i think it believe i believe it said 90 decibels which is an average of a human scream. It remains at a constant 90 decibels. So you could kind of imagine how loud this act, this city actually can get. So with all those, with all that being said, that's one of the things that was kind of got me interested in and drew me to this movie to get me interested and in, intrigued and in seeing what they're going to do with this whole new setting of New York City with it being such a loud place. So really this movie clocks in at about an hour and 40 minutes. It gets in, it gets out. It's great, honestly. It does what it needs to do in a short amount of runtime. Now I will say this movie doesn't really add anything or add any lore to the monsters themselves. This is basically playing out sort of the same way as the other two previous movies where you have the setting, you know, you gotta be quiet and all that and just go on this journey with these characters. And other than that, it doesn't really add too much of the lore. Does it say where these monsters come from? Does it add anything new to these monsters and i will say this definitely plays out like sort of a prequel basically you know taking place from day one the start of it so i would say that you don't really need to have previous knowledge or have seen the other two previous movies to really go into this movie and really appreciate what it's doing so we get lapita nyong'o's character where she basically has an illness and she already knows that she's on a certain timeline of you know her last living timeline she already knows basically where her path is going to lead to and basically this story really tells a great just great overall human story where her character basically just wants to get that feeling of nostalgia and you know the sense of hope that she had before it and basically she goes on this journey to just go get some pizza you know but the way that this movie plays out and the way that this movie does it to where she wants to get pizza something that's so mundane to where it actually makes it a sort of compelling kind of story as we see her go on this journey something a little kind of interesting a little side note was that at the very beginning of the movie there's they go to like a marionette puppet show and i don't know it was just kind of interesting and captivating to where it's like this sort of it gives off this sort of feeling to where it's like a the calm before the storm that type of feeling going on with it but of course this movie is built with two of its main characters with Lupita Nyong'o and Joseph Quinn coming in I will say that Joseph Quinn's character doesn't really come in until about maybe the 40 to 45 minute mark of the movie but once you get these two characters on screen you are in for a treat when you get this story with these two characters and with them going on this journey as basically it's a very grounded human story as I said before where Lupita's character is trying to uh, get a slice of pizza. That's all she's wanting for and longing for is just to have this slice of pizza that she remembers going to this pizza shop as a kid and in her memories that that's all she wants in this story. But really you get the great chemistry going on between these two characters. You get a story of just human compassion and you get these different emotions. You see the emotional uh, toll that this story tells with these two characters you get some strong physical performances because there is some parts in here where they're not talking of course or you know barely whispering and you get these strong physical performances from these characters and you're able to just feel that you're able to get invested with these characters you're able to see how they're feeling and see how expressive they are with just physical performance and just movements that they're doing I will say, I don't know if this was like really just the movie itself or it could have been just my theater in general, but there is definitely a couple parts where, you know, of course, they're trying to stay quiet, they're whispering. And when it's, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to hear those whispers, you know, it's kind of hard to tell what they're saying. That could have been the mo either the movie or it could just have been my theater in general. I don't know exactly what it was. but And throughout this movie, we have this cat, <laughs> this cat uh, who Lupita Nyong'o's character actually 
uh, has a cat and you know is carrying his cat a lot or has this cat throughout the movie a lot and I just remember seeing this cat on screen and you know actually noticing that this cat seemed like it was going to be you know basically a character throughout the whole movie and I was like just thinking darn man this cat is going to get them killed leave the cat alone let go of the cat this cat is going to get you killed just let the cat go I just kept thinking that throughout the whole movie but one slight complaint that I probably will say about this movie because I really didn't have any complaints about this movie but one thing I kind of would have wanted a little bit was that they seem to figure out that you know how these monsters actually work a little too quickly in my in my favor you know the way that they're able to figure it out so quickly to where these monsters go off a of hearing seemed like it was just a big flash and blur like it, they didn't even have time to do like a trial and error or try to figure out how these care uh, how these monsters actually work that they go off a of hearing and all that you know basically basically we get a scene to where they come down opening uh opening scene of when they're coming down and people are getting attacked and all that and Lupita's character gets knocked out and then once she wakes up you get Jamon's hot suits character from the uh, second movie and you get his character where he's covering her mouth and he's telling her you know shh be quiet and all that and basically all when she wakes up all these other people already know to just be quiet and not make any loud noises so really i would say that's my biggest complaint of the movie is that we just don't get this you know whole trial and error of them trying to figure out how these monsters actually work but really another thing i was thinking about when going in to see this movie was how can they continue this uh, whole setting of this world where these monsters are attacking how can they be able to continue to make a good movie as you know the previous other two and be able to sort of be like this movie to where it's not your run-of-the-mill kind of schlocky monster movie and I think they really proved it with this movie to where if they're going to continue to make movies in this world and in this setting of all these monsters attacking and all that you need to be able to tell a compelling and great human side story and they're able to do that with this movie and I can see how they can be able to continue making these movies and be able to do that to where you have all the monster attacks you have all the suspense and edge of your seat kind of feeling this but you're going to have at the forefront a great human side story a compelling human side story and be able to have characters that you can get invested in and feel for and see them go on a journey set in this whole world and with these monsters so that's how they can continue to be able to do this and they proved it with this movie to where they can be able to continue with these movies as long as they keep doing these types of movies to where we're getting great human sized stories with the background and setting of these monster attacks and set in this whole world then i will continue to watch these movies and enjoy these movies because they just done a great job with this movie overall overall i would say if you like the previous two quiet place movies then you most likely will probably like this one as well i definitely say this is definitely a great and solid addition and continues to be a good franchise overall including all three of these movies they have done such a great job with these movies and this franchise overall so if they continue that with future movies wherever they plan to go um, I'm definitely invested and definitely am curious in seeing what they could do with future movies and future installments of this franchise as long as they continue to do what they've been doing with these three past movies and be able to continue to tell great stories set in this post-apocalyptic world and be able to do all that if they continue to do all that with the future installments then i will stay sticking to this franchise and enjoy this franchise still and hopefully they're able to do that in the future but let me know down in the comments below did you check out this movie over the weekend what did you think of it do you love the quiet place franchise and what they've been doing with these movies so far are you ready for future installments but that's going to do it all for this video remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know i post another video hope you all have an awesome day and i'll see you on the next one